Hi, welcome to a chef called Rhonda. I'm Rhonda and this is my kitchen. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a classic radicchio, simply sweet and salty salad. Using only six ingredients in under 10 minutes, we'll pull together this classic Neapolitan radicchio salad. Grab your trusty wooden spoon. We'll all meet back in the kitchen while I show you how to make a simply sweet and salty radicchio salad. Hi everyone, welcome to the kitchen. Today we're working with radicchio. Yes, radicchio is the bitter vegetable that is often mistaken for a colorful lettuce or even sometimes red cabbage. In fact, radicchio is sometimes called the Italian chicory because it holds a prominent position in Italian cooking. Okay, cominciamo, let's begin. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the anchovy vinaigrette first so that it has a chance to mesh all the beautiful flavors. I'm working with Scalia anchovies. They have a little crushed red pepper and a little tip here, if you're a big fan of anchovies, go ahead and double down on them. This recipe I'm using between four and six. I'll take my fork and I'm going to work the fork into the anchovy fillet and they will almost dissolve with inside of a minute or so. And you can see that nice anchovy dissolving. Now it's time to add a vinegar right atop the anchovy and I'm going to whisk until the anchovies further dissolve into the vinegar, creating that real bite and salty bite. Next, I'm going to add our olive oil in segments and slowly as I continue to whisk like so. Okay, so grandmother's tip, add the olive oil slowly helps to emulsify the ingredients by way of whisking intently into the red wine vinegar and the anchovies. There we are. Okay, so let's set this aside. Now it's time to work on our radicchio. First, I'm going to remove the outer leaves, set them aside for later use, perhaps add them to a soup or a pasta dish. And there we are. To core our radicchio, I will take my knife and I will make a circle right around the root or stem of the radicchio and then it will pop out naturally as you can see here. I will throw that root or stem out. I will then half the radicchio and then quarter the radicchio. Now sometimes I think radicchio is the left vegetable at the Mercato or the market. Um, it's so pretty and has such a nice flavor. It has a little bit of bitterness, but very crisp. And it really adds a nice punch to basically any dish. Um, here we are, and I'm just going to do the same with our second head of radicchio. Okay, next we remove the orange peel from the orange. We're gonna go grab that radicchio and add some nice leaves to our bowl, but I'd like to leave a lot of texture, so I'll have radicchio hunks also in the bowl. And I will save our orange peel for future Italian cookie making. I'll go into this large navel seedless orange and segment it properly. And I leave the orange in large slices purposely because I like to serve this salad over a nice hunk of bonapane, also known as good bread. Okay, so I'll go in and I'll add the orange slices right at top. The best is yet to come. We're going to grab that vinaigrette, that anchovy vinaigrette. Oh, it smells heavenly. I'm going to add this right across, right atop, deep into the radicchio, and I am going to serve this at room temperature. However, it does get better with time, so if you folks like a cold salad, wrap it in plastic, pop it in the refrigerator, and serve it the next day, and boom, you've got yourself a first class radicchio and orange salad with a wonderful anchovy vinaigrette. Please, if you have any comments, do so down below.